Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the highest common factor or HCF of two numbers by using prime factorization. And we've got these two numbers here, 120 and 126, we want to find the highest common factor of. Now in a previous video we looked at a method where we just listed the factors of each of these numbers and then chose the factor which was in both lists that was highest up the list. But another method we could use is to first work out the prime factorization of each of your two numbers. And if you don't know how to find the prime factorization of a number, then I recommend you watch my video on that first. Now what we do is we write the prime factorization one above the other. So we've got the two to the three times three times five. And then let's write this other one below it. So we've got two times three squared. Now I'm gonna leave a blank space here and write the seven here. And the reason is, is that you need each column to involve the same prime factor. So this involves powers of two, this involves powers of three, this column involves powers of five, this column involves powers of seven. And notice we've left that space blank, and that's because the second number, the one, two, six, doesn't have a prime factor of five. Similarly, the first number here doesn't have a prime factor of seven, so I've left that space blank in the seven column. Now, all we need to do is work out what loses in each case. And what I mean by that is to choose the one with the lowest index. And the reason that works is because if I want to see what's common to both this and this, this has got a two, another two, and another two in it. This one just has a single two. So they have a single two in common. So you basically have to use the lower of the two indices. So if we put an index of one, one is lower than three, so what loses? It's two to the one, and we're gonna put two to the one in our highest common factor. What loses out of three and three squared? Well, three has the lower index of one, so we just put the three. Now, what loses out of nothing and five? Well, nothing loses, so we put nothing at all. And that's basically saying that these numbers don't both have a five in common, so we can't include the five in the highest common factor. And similarly, what loses out of nothing and seven? Nothing loses, so we just leave nothing there. And we just end up with two times three, and that is equal to six.